Hello guys, in the previous video I showed you how you can create this kind of uh, armor by drawing on the surface. In this video I'll show you kind of other ways you can use Reed Topology to get similar results. So essentially guys, once you've got a handle on these various techniques, you really just kind of expand your arsenal, your modeling arsenal and your ability to model and design different things. So it's very powerful guys, the ability to draw on surfaces and to retopologize. In this video I'll give you kind of more things you can do. So. First thing you can do is, let's say I use the cut tool. So right here we got cut, and all the polygon programmers of course have cut. And so now I will go in here and kind of uh, cut out some sort of shape here. And to make this even easier guys, I'm going to activate also the split option, which augments the way cut works as well as sliced plane and quick slice. What this does, guys, is that when I actually go ahead and finish the cut, it'll actually be a separate object. I can now go ahead and, for example, delete this or continue working with this. But now, guys, I can go ahead and re apologize this. Let's decrease the face count. You can also try turning this option on and off, see if it gives you a better result. And just like that guys, you're able to get very quick armor pads and surface details. And just like that. You know, various kinds of panels and things like that. So we can go ahead, I've already got this uh, symmetry. I can also add shell to that, of course. I can just go ahead and copy these four modifiers. So just like that, guys, you're able to get very quick panel lines and quickly continue from there. Well, sometimes we need to just adjust things like so. All right. All right, the reason why it's not working here is because I'll just go ahead and delete that real quick. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to check out the description where I have links to a more advanced courses such as on sci-fi design, futuristic vehicles, furniture, and more comprehensive advanced courses. And I can also just kind of delete all these modifiers very quickly to get back to the base model. Right now I've got these two pieces guys, once again, reads apology. Paste the modifiers. Quick panel line right there, guys. We can add some fun details on top. I'm not too worried about topology here. I'm just going to go ahead and let's say move this out.
America. So as you can see, super powerful technique right here for creating some very nice, I mean, uh, a wide variety of objects here. Another thing that we can do, guys, is let's say I draw them out. So I'll select this object and let's, let's say I draw out some things here. And then I just kind of go around here. All right. So normally when you got this, you'll have to kind of go in here and retopologize this, fill in the blanks, especially if it's a complex object. But what if we do this? What if we just go in here and cap this? Uh, Hotkey uses Alt P. You can find the cap. Uh, let's see here, right here, cap. All right, and then we can just, for example, subdivide this, and then we can use retopology, guys, to quickly fill in those blanks. Now, one thing that retopology doesn't quite do right now is do the symmetry. So here's what we do. We simply just gonna delete the left half ourselves. Also apply slice modifier. Press one to go in subject level. A for angle snap, you can right click here. Set it to be for example, 22.5. Rotate. And then go down here. And for example, remove positive or negative. Now read topology. And now we can go ahead and paste those modifiers. So just like that guys, you can fill in the blanks very quickly. One more example for the road. And uh, sometimes, guys, you can use you can use conform as well. Let me give an example of that as well. Alright, so the problem is we can we can go ahead and cap this and read Sponge, but the problem guys as you notice that it's doing this. In other words, it's capping, but it's not really supporting the surface properly. But not to worry. Let's re apologize. And now we're going to go ahead and use conform, guys, to conform this to the surface. So guys, before and after. So good topology. Now conform to the surface. Oops. Good good topology because of retopology. So we go from this to this to this to this. We can subdivide further and further conform. So just like that, guys, you have a very powerful tool. And what's cool about this, guys, is that once you learn these tools and put them together, you get really nice results very quickly. Thank you for watching and take care.